again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans! Welcome to what I think will be our last box of Bandit Rain on this channel, our fourth one overall. And this one is a battle against Toy Zemcian partner, Sora Pokeball. So, you can click that annotation in the upper left hand corner of your screen at any time you want during this video. They'll open up her uh, half of the battle in a new window. And when it does, you can just pause it and watch this one first, then go back and watch hers. Whatever works for you, or just, you know, click it towards the end of this video when you're ready to switch over. Either way, if you don't have annotations turned on, to click the upper right-hand corner of your screen, there should be an I there, at least when you hover over it. And that's another way to find a link to that video. And also, there'll be a link in the description box below that will get you there as well. So, we've got 20 packs of Bandit Ring goodness here. Let's see what we can find. So far, three very solid boxes. I, I thought I would won every battle, but that wasn't the case because most of these boxes are just amazing. That's just the way this set is. So we'll see how this box battle goes against Sora Pokeball. So we got Baltoy, Sableye, Slagoo, or Gumi, Gumi, yes, Gumi, Koidal, and Gyarados. We finally got our first Gyarados Ancient Trait, so at least we got one of that one. That's probably my favorite non- EX, non full art, etc. artwork. Inke, as you can see there, the farter. Ariados, Eevee, Metagross Ancient Trait, and Ampharos Spirit Link. And as, you know, just to, you know, make all the videos the same, still no cheat sheet for me on those uh, trainers and stuff, but we'll see what we can do. Cottony, Matane, a, uh, <laughs> I hate you, a uh, Golette, I think. Registeel, and yes, Ancient Trait Gyarados number two for us. Love that art. Looks like uh, the Fisherman's gonna get a uh, Jurassic World experience, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Looks like he's in trouble. But yes, love that artwork. Very cool, very fierce. I love it. Oh, that did not go well. Let's try the bottom, shall we? There we go. Seems like the top is at times easier, at least less painful on my finger, because like I said last video, I kind of pinch when I go, but uh, oh well. Uh, Magic Carp, Rotom, Unknown. I think someone said it's, is this Link Energy? I, I, I know they said the dark one is called Bad Energy. I don't recall what they said this one was. Link Energy seems weird because you got Spirit Links, but anyways, there's something good showing behind here. I'll come on and see what that is. And it is a full art shiny shine that shines so bright, Tyranitar EX. That is the first Tyranitar I have pulled, excluding the regular art Mega. So first non-Mega Tyranitar I've gotten from the set. Very nice, very fierce, very dark, very evil. Roar. All right, so that is our super rare for the box. So, the one time I open from the top down in this set, we get an early awesome pull. Oh well. Hopefully you guys will still stick around and watch the rest of the packs though. Because I always appreciate that. All of you that, you know, sit and watch through the entirety of like most of my videos, you guys are the bestest. I love you all. But anyways, we got Arvesta, Gloom, Baltoy Ancient Trait, Regirock, and Porygon Z Ancient Trait Foil. Nice. So both hollows so far are ancient trait, plus that lovely, lovely full art T tar. So any of you guys watching, were you have you been playing the game competitively long enough to know what Rock Lock is? Because back in the day, Rock Lock was my jam. That was my favorite deck to play for a long time. Porygon, Flareon, Meowth, a stadium, and Vileplume. A Rock Lock had a lot of dark Pokemon, had dark Tyranitar, I think dark Electrode. Uh, what else was in that thing? I'm blanking. But definitely those cards for sure. And uh, ATM Rock, I think, was the uh, main trainer card in there that de evolved, de evolutionized your opponent's Pokemon. Combi, Slagoo, Oddish, Tyranitar, Spirit Link, and Entei. So, uh, the Dark Tyranitar had a spinning tail attack, which damaged all of your opponent's Pokemon. So you do that a few times, and then for the attack, you can use ATM Rock, 
which would take the highest evolution card of all of your opponents and bring them off the field. This one, there weren't EXs all over the place, so de-evolving actually was a good thing because people evolve and stuff, so you get, you know, 60 damage on your opponent's Pokemon, you de-evolve them once or twice down to basics, and you're getting like four knockouts in one turn sometimes, so it was a lot of fun. But I digress. Gumi, Vespa Queen, Ralts, Regice, and Machamp EX. Yes, I know you exist now. We got you last box. Forgot about his existence. And then we pulled him last box. Like, oh yeah, that guy's in this set too. But still very cool. Love me some fighting Pokemon. As that takes me even further back to the days of when there was like two to four sets in the format. And Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, Scyther, those guys were the bee's knees. 20 damage for one energy with Hitmonchan? That was just unbelievably awesome at the time. As funny as that may sound. Relicanth, Curlia, Spinarak, Lucky Helmet, and Ace Trainer, I think it is. And someone pointed out, I haven't been this fine, I think you can only play this card if you are losing as far as prize count goes. So you must have more prizes left than your opponent to play it. So it really works a lot more like N then, because if your opponent has less prizes, they might have three prizes left and you have six, then it's just like N. But you can't play it, you know, turn one and stuff, so that might be a one to maybe two of in some decks and probably won't be in every deck, but it will definitely still see play nonetheless. Sableye, Whimsicott, Beldum, Stadium, and a Volcarona Hollow. That is our third Hollow, fifth foil overall. So we're halfway through as far as foils go, and I think we're about halfway through the box, so... We're right on pace, right on schedule, to get our 10 foils from the booster box. Do 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 do. Whoopa! Inke! I always got to turn upside down now, because it just doesn't look like Inke when he's upside down. Looks like a Malamar, it's all scrunched up! Uh, Go Lurk! Splatoon! And... Yes, Go Lurk again! So we got two Go Lurk one pack, just like last box. I got confused, like, wait... Was, was that other one Golit? Was, was messing things up here? What's going on? I have no idea what's going on. None. All right. Keep on going. Ooh, I think this is a foil. I didn't feel it, but I, I just feel it. I don't feel it, but I feel it. Yeah, I make so much sense. Anyways, Magikarp, Cottony. Oh, yeah, there's something there. Vespa Queen, Ancient Trait, Sceptile, Spirit Link, and Mega Ampharos EX. I'm glad I got that pull because that is the only Mega I have not gotten yet. I already have a Mega Sceptile and a Mega Tyranitar. None of them in full art, but what you gonna do? So we got, I think, let's see, we got two, we got two of one of the Megas. We have two Sceptiles, I think so. I'm just looking off to the side here because I have all my pulls. Um, yeah, I have two Mega Sceptiles, one Tyranitar, and now one Mega Ampharos. So we should have one more EX. It will likely be a non-mega, non-full art, non-secret rare, etc., etc. Um, we already have two Hoopas, so I'm hoping it's not Hoopa. I I take a regular art Tyranitar. That's what I want to see. Because we don't have the regular Tyranitar, so let's shoot for that. Eevee! La La Harvesta! Persian! Metagross Ancient Trait! And Entei Ancient Trait! Getting all the Ancient Trade Hollows in this box. That is our third one. That might be all the different ones that are on the set. I can't remember, but get our focus back here. All right, so we still got seven packs here. Uh, I should have gone bottom up. Oh, well. <laughs> the one time I don't, the good pulls are more loaded towards the top, but oh, well. Gombi. I'm sorry the focus is getting weird, but I don't know. Baltimore Ancient Trait. Melamar. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Sure. Uh, Hex Maniac! And, just, just say how I always say it, because I, I don't care if it's right or wrong. Verizian. That's how I've always said it, and it just feels right to me. If you don't like it, it's too bad. But just I have both cards aside here, let's show you here. Upside Down Inke and Malamar. So you can see how much more similar it looks when it's, you know, upside down. I... That looks a lot more like that, just, you know, scrunched. And those little things get longer, and the body gets longer, but... I mean, that looks more like that than... That. 
You know? Makes sense? Maybe? I don't know. Because the first box I did for this, the first ink I got, I called it a Malamar, because it just looked like a Malamar at first. I'm just trying to go through this kind of quickly with the names, and, you know. Go it! Ralts, Balassum, Volcarona Ancient Trait, and Gyarados. Five packs remain. I don't know why I have it to the tune of YMCA. Ooh, ooh, unknown! Meowth, Vaporeon, Claydol, and Jolteon. I got Jolteon in all four boxes. Might be the only foil that we got in all four boxes. I think we got at least three Verizians as well, though, so maybe that was every box as well. I know we had one box that had no ancient traits, so I know we didn't get any of the ancient traits in every box. Maybe Volcarona was everyone too? I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Porygon! Relicanth! Porygon 2! Tool Grabber, I think, or at least that's kind of what it does. And Level Ball. Three packs left, still looking for that final EX. We're looking for a Tyranitar, I think. I think I, yeah, I do have one Ampharos. I have a Sceptile. Just trying to think if there's any EXs I haven't gotten besides Tyranitar. And we got in full art now, so if we miss getting the regular art, that's totally fine. But, you know, obviously we prefer to get something that we don't have any of versus something we already have one or two of. Whooper! Oddish! Quagsire! Bad Energy! And Sceptile EX! I think we got two Sceptiles and two Mega Sceptiles then, so I guess that kind of works out. Have a 2-2 line of that. Including the full arts, we have a 1-1 T-Tar and a 1-1 Ampharos line, so, you know, might as well fill out the lines, eh? So, let's see here, um, no more foils expected. We got six Hollows plus four Ultra Rares, so these last two packs should be nothingsville, but let's just quickly take a look here and just go really quick because with nothing expected, you guys probably don't care a whole lot. So, just kind of power through these while hurting my fingers some more. And yeah, nothing there. We end on another Inke and a Vile Plume. So, show you one more quick time. There's our six foils, includes three Ancient Traits and of course Jolteon. And then we got a Sceptile EX, a Machamp EX, a Mega Ampharos, and the Full Art Tyranitar EX. So that is what Sora Pokeball has to beat. Uh, this might be our worst box so far actually, so uh, she probably has the advantage, good chance of beating us anyway, so if you want to see what is likely to be a better box, click up there to go watch Sora Pokeball's box opening of Bandit Rain in this battle against us. And if you don't have annotations turned on, you can click the eye up there, or find a link down below in the video description box. So thank you all for watching, please subscribe, rock smash that like button to a whole bunch of likes, and visit our website for all of your Pokemon needs. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another double dose of Pokemon opening goodness. Now go watch Sora. Later, everybody. Have a great day.